Hello, hello, veggie fam. It's your girl Ashley of Fabulous Veggies coming in with another Sunday recipe time. And this week, we're gonna keep it short and sweet and do a southern comfort favorite black eyed peas. Yes, and we're gonna do it from the fresh ones, okay? Look, we are ready, all right? So stay tuned if you wanna learn how to do the staple, or at least how I do it, and make it vegan, all right? And before we go any further, make sure you're following me on my Instagram. You know, I always gotta ask. Make sure you're following me on my Instagram at Fabulous underscore veggies. Check out my website, eFabulousVeggies.com. And if you're tuning in on YouTube, thank you so much. Shout out to the new subscribers, y'all. We almost at my, like, my goal. We're almost at my goal. So keep spreading the word, sharing it with people, and yeah, stay tuned for the recipe because I do the overhead shots, and then we wrap up the video at the end. So stay tuned. And boom. So here are the black eyed peas. We have the dry ones. You can get it at your local Kroger. You know, they're not sponsoring. But if you want to, in the future Kroger, you know, holler at me, okay? I'm with it. Um, so here is one bag. It's one pound of black eyed peas, okay? And then we have vegetable broth. That helps with the cooking later on. And we have garlic powder, cayenne pepper, black pepper, onion powder, some salt. And my granny got some fresh, like, peppers from her garden that she dried out so I might put a few in there you know get the seeds and whatnot make it all nice crush red pepper flake you never know um but of course before we go any further we have to soak these babies overnight so you're gonna see a sped up version of that and then it'll be like the next day you'll see me soon add in your peas cover with water completely and one day later and this is what we have. Look at how much is expanded after soaking overnight. I mean, look at it. We're gonna rinse it off again. I always like to rinse again with cold water and just get off any extra like remnants and such. And then we are gonna start cooking. So you'll see that sped up version. Stay tuned. All right, boom. So we got the peas putting it in, okay? Putting in four cups of vegetable broth. That's gonna like come up to par with what I'm saying real soon, okay? And then <laughs> two tablespoons of onion powder, two of your garlic powder coming up next, yes. And then we're gonna do ground black pepper to your taste, of course. Cayenne pepper to your taste, of course. I like it spicy and a little salt. Cause you gotta season the peas, honey. Season the peas, stir it up, all right? And then bring it to a boil. Okay, so I had to do a different angle because, honey, it was fogging up. But I wanted to pop back in and let you guys know. Okay, so I brought it up to a boil on high heat. So turn it down to low at this point when it starts to look like this. And I wanted to add in some liquid smoke. Um, the mesquite, I have a few drops that I'm going to just put in here. One, two, three, maybe four or five. <laughs> and then my granny's uh, pepper, too. See? Look at that. Look at all that fog. Put that on there. And you're going to want to vent it. So... We're gonna stir, last little stir, and then you vent the lid, honey, because you do not want bubble over. So you vent it, look at that. That's a vent, right there, vent it. And yeah, so we're gonna just let it do its thing on low. Again, it's not gonna be this rapid. Put it on low and um, yeah. All right, 45 minutes to an hour and this is what we got. Doesn't it look good? Yeah, it cooked really quickly. So wrapping up the video. And just like that, we are done. I mean, quick, easy. I hope y'all enjoyed the video as much as I did creating it. And I paid a little homage with my granny and using some of her pepper in there. So yeah, I hope you and your family enjoyed the recipe. Comment below if this is like some black eyed peas you guys would make or what y'all do with your recipes. I mean, I love to talk, y'all know I love to talk. So thank y'all so much for tuning in and hanging out with your girl, Ashley of Fabulous Veggies, where we're always cooking up fresh greens on the daily. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram at Fabulous underscore veggies. Check out my website, eatfrabulousveggies.com. For all of you tuning in on YouTube, Thank you so much. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And I'll catch y'all next time.